spending some time with us on this beautiful Tuesday. My name is Lori Beck, and for those of you who don't know me, I am the President and Chief Operating Officer of Insurance Network America. It's always fun for me when we do these webinars. I look out across the names of attendees, and I see some good friends, and I also see some brand new faces, or brand new names, rather. So I hope that this gives you an opportunity to see some of the things that we have in store for you as you continue to work with Insurance Network. You know, as an Allianz Preferred Shop, we have the privilege of working with some of the best of the best. And that includes the gentleman that's going to present to you today on marketing to small business owners. Nate Lund is a regional life, and life sales consultant who really knows his stuff. And so we've asked him to come on board today, talk to you about marketing life insurance to small business owners, and I'm confident that you're going to be excited about some of the ideas he has to help you maximize your opportunity in this market. Nate, are you ready? Absolutely. Thanks, Lori, and uh, thanks for the opportunity today. Uh, and thanks again, everyone, for taking the time out of your schedule to join us. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is marketing to small business owners and how can you really leverage uh, that relatively untapped uh, market that's out there, uh, specifically when it comes to uh, not just providing uh, your clients with you know, low-cost uh, term life insurance, but what can we do above and beyond that for additional protection and provide them not only that, that life policy they need, but also cash value uh, and the flexibility that comes with that. Now, to do that today, our agenda, we're going to be taking a look at you know, what, what uh, the steps really for you in, uh, in terms of starting in on this market. Uh, a lot of times this can be a um, an overwhelming concept getting into a whole new market. A lot of a lot of people don't know a lot about the small business market, and and therefore really haven't thought about approaching it. Uh, you work with individuals on a day-to-day -day basis that uh, may be in that that affluent market, and for the most part, a lot of those folks are probably small business owners. So, what opportunity lies for you out there? Not only do be presenting to them on an individual basis. Uh, but also uh, presenting to them as a small business owner and helping them to protect their business and at the same time uh, as a small business owner yourselves, uh, putting some additional revenue in your pocket as well. Uh, then I want to take a look at our small business life insurance kit. Uh, our marketing team came out with this kit uh, uh, a little over a year ago and we've revamped some things uh, over that time period, um, but it really is an outstanding uh, turnkey kit. Uh, that we put together. Uh, what you'll find in there is a whole set of financial tools uh, for you as the agent, uh, more or less a how-to guide on, on getting into the side of the business, uh, and then also taking a look at what consumer approved pieces uh, we have in there to help you sit in front of those small business owners and present them with some of these complex uh, concepts, but really simplifying that and talking more about uh, just that basic high-level concept and what an FIUL type product uh, could do to fill their needs. So really taking a look at a couple of stats first, uh, if we go out to um, some of the, the business studies done by LIMRA, uh, what you'll see on the, the first uh, dot there is more than half of small businesses do not offer any type of executive benefits. So we have a lot of these small businesses out there uh, that are not providing any kind of deferred comp. Uh, executive bonus plans uh, or, or any kind of vesting schedule type plans that are really uh, there to retain uh, some of those top employees. Um, in this day and age, uh, people do jump around company to company, it seems, and uh, what ways are out there for them to protect uh, the, this talent from, from up and leaving their group? Uh, what ways can we uh, incentivize them to, to stick with uh, us as a business? And looking at another one there, uh, seven in 10 small business owners have also thought about succession planning, but still haven't done anything about it. Uh, I'm sure many of the clients that, that you have uh, spoken with in the past as a small business owner, they, they've either thought about their business as their own personal retirement plan. Well, that's great, but if you don't actually uh, do anything about it and set up any kind of an action plan to, um, to, to value your business and, and set up an exit strategy for down the road, is there going to be somebody to, to buy that out from you when the time comes as a small business owner? Uh, and number two, what happens if uh, uh, you as the owner die or somebody who's a, uh, a key employee in your shop? Uh, who's going to replace those sales or who's going to take over uh, what they were doing? How, how much is it going to cost you to uh, replace what they brought to the table? And that's really where that, that life insurance or a death benefit can play a huge role, and not just the death benefit side, but uh, also the cash value 
uh, that's going to be in these policies that can be used to help with uh, some of that business continuation planning. Now, taking a look at the FIUL and why it can be such a great fit uh, for uh, biz, small businesses, uh, for that continuation strategy and, and a lot more, uh, really you have the, the tax-free death benefit. First and foremost, that's, that's really why we're approaching these folks and setting up these plans is to uh, provide protection uh, for the business. But what we also want to focus on today is also getting into the tax-deferred cash accumulation. And so those of you may be familiar with index annuities, uh, what we're doing here is we're, we're offering them upside potential uh, based on that, that index return of the S&P, the NASDAQ, our proprietary blended index, uh, but without giving them any of that downside risk. So you're giving them really the best of both worlds, cash upside but with a zero floor. And ultimately the goal here uh, in building that cash value up is to offer this, these businesses flexibility, uh, either in terms of pulling that cash value out down the road uh, to help pay for business expenses uh, if the business is owning it, or maybe if it's an executive bonus type plan, uh, offering those executives uh, income down the road, or if it's a deferred comp, offering them some kind of compensation that they've deferred uh, and you've structured within the business to pay out later on. Now what's great with life insurance, for those of you who aren't as familiar with what's so valuable about cash value in life, uh, we're able to access that cash value income tax-free via policy loans. So now when your clients uh, may have all these qualified plans or annuities set up, which is great, uh, nothing against any of those plans, what you're able to do here though is, is diversify some of your, your client's distribution as well. Offer them a way to get at uh, cash value income tax-free regardless of what happens to our tax rates uh, down the road. And it also, from a small business standpoint, can provide some flexibility. Depending on how these are structured, it can give a small business uh, the flexibility to uh, change or lower premiums down the road. Uh, many of you know, it, as small business owners, cash value, or uh, excuse me, uh, cash inflow uh, from the business standpoint uh, can fluctuate. Uh, as, that, as the cash coming in can change, maybe your, uh, your availability to pay some of these premiums or uh, what you're able to afford also changes cash value in these policies can help you to uh, be more flexible when it comes to that. And when you look at uh, at a small business, uh, really majority are not offering um, the life insurance or retirement benefits as we talked about. And really the, the FIUO product is, to, is really a way to do uh, all of the above. So now they can give uh, the tax benefits of tax-free death benefit, tax-free uh, accumulation, and tax-free income down the road. And we're also going to focus a little bit here on, on the business continuity options. So what are we doing in terms of um, setting up a plan for these small businesses to uh, pass that on? Who's going to take over the business uh, when the business owner um, either wants to retire or passes away? And, and the same goes for, uh, for key employees within that business. Now really there's four steps that I want to go through um, this afternoon and these steps are going to be laid out in the life in, or in the, uh, the small business kit that I had mentioned earlier. But really um, what we want to do to incorporate uh, this small business kit into your practice and why you'd want to do that uh, is like I said, it's a turnkey kit. It's a way for you to have a step-by-step -step process uh, to start implementing uh, this plan. But really it, it can, from your standpoint, help you invest in the long-term viability of your business so adding more revenue, adding more clients. Um, it can also help you uncover some hidden sales opportunities. As I said, uh, a big majority of you are going to find a lot of these opportunities within your existing book that maybe you simply haven't approached yet. FIUL, uh, as a product or a vehicle for these concepts, um, can also help be tailored, can be tailored to help meet some of the needs of these different small business owners and the way that they want to design these products. And uh, the small business kit really is a way to help you distinguish yourself from all the other agents out there in the field. Uh, not only do we have this kit and some of the pieces involved with it, but we have a sales concept software uh, that can let you really tailor and customize uh, an illustration or case design very specifically to your client and their needs and how it would, uh, how the FIUL would benefit uh, and fill that void. So taking a look first, number, the step number one, and maybe the, the hardest step or the most daunting when it comes to how am I going to get into this side of the business is prospecting, uh, really getting your foot in the door. 
I mean, it's great that we have this product, you have this kit, but where are you going to start? Uh, and as I said, one of the, the biggest opportunities that you're likely going to have is really within your existing uh, client book. Uh, and what we've put together here inside the kit are a few different ways for you to, to start doing that. Uh, we have sample prospecting letters and client mailers um, that are available to help you get that client, uh, that conversation started. And we have these tailored to, uh, is this person a, a new client, uh, existing, are they uh, a small business owner uh, themselves or a, a uh, fellow uh, financial professional, a CPA or an attorney, uh, and how do you approach them in terms of um, getting in for that first meeting. And once you have the meeting set up, uh, we actually have a consumer proof PowerPoint that you're able to use. It comes full with speaker notes and, and just a, really a guide to help you get into the, the value of the FIUL and how it can benefit uh, their business uh, both today as well as in uh, several years when we're talking about what are they going to do with their business uh, at retirement or um, in the event that one of the partners in the, in the business uh, were to leave or pass away themselves. Uh, and one of the other, I mentioned a moment ago, one of the letters that's in there is specifically directed at other financial professionals. Uh, so one great place to start is going to be um, partnering with uh, CPAs or attorneys or uh, agents who maybe are not involved in uh, the life insurance space. And I would really encourage you to start with uh, your own CPA. Uh, go to them and, and present an opportunity where you can have a uh, mutually beneficial relationship where you can bring them referrals and they can do the same for you. Obviously, CPAs are, are your client's most trusted uh, financial professional. So here's an opportunity to meet with, uh, with your CPA, uh, talk about how you can be bringing value to their business as well as uh, them providing some of these warm leads uh, to you that you can meet with. Uh, many of you who have maybe uh, already been involved in some of these cases or, or even large uh, case sizes on whether it's annuities or life insurance, sometimes you may have found that CPAs or attorneys uh, can sometimes be the, the gatekeeper or the, um, the last straw where the client says, okay, this sounds great, but let me run it by my CPA or attorney. Well, now you already have this person uh, in line with what you want to do because they really would just want to know on the front end what's going on. This way you've already established that relationship. Uh, you have the backing of this person's CPA or of a CPA or an attorney. So if you're getting into more complex cases, now you have that financial professional working alongside you to help really make that sale. And instead of really going you know, door to door or business to business and, and meeting with uh, you know, everyone in the yellow pages, uh, joining and networking with affinity groups is another great opportunity that you have. Right there you have with Kiwanis or the credit unions, Rotary Clubs, uh, Chamber of Commerce, you already have structured organizations comprised of business owners and um, folks in the financial field. So here's an opportunity for you to get time in front of these groups to present these concepts. So instead of going uh, one group at a time, now you have an opportunity to meet with uh, several business owners all at once. Or what about uh, meeting with college or university alumni associations? Really another a warm lead opportunity for you as a, uh, a, fellow, a fellow alumni uh, of that college or university. Or for those of you uh, involved with churches or other religious associations. Again, uh, another opportunity to have uh, a group of people that uh, really have been invited as a, as a warm lead. They already know you. And here's an opportunity to present what you do and what value you can provide to them um, as um, as it goes with life insurance and helping to uh, you know, provide business continuity options for them. Now once, we, once we've gotten uh, in front of some of these people and when we've had a chance to present and, and, and pique some interest uh, with what you do, uh, really the, the question comes down to fact finding. If we're going to play doctor really in this scenario, uh, we need to know what's wrong before we can prescribe anything, right? So what we have uh, available in this kit as well are some great fact finders, a way for you to sit down um, with these small business owners and get a lot of detail on, on everything about their business and, and their financials. Because uh, as I said, until we know some of that, we can't really just throw a product at them because not all products are right for, for all situations. But really some of the, some of the basic questions uh, that you're going to be able to start with are uh, finding out about their business. You know, what type of business entity is it? Is it an S-Corp, a C-Corp, an LLC, a partnership? You know, 
what type of business is it? Because to be honest, uh, some of these plans work better uh, with certain entities than they do with others. Uh, how many owners are there? You know, is this a, an opportunity for, if it's just two owners, maybe this is a good buy-sell opportunity as a cross-purchase versus an entity purchase. You know, what type of benefits are they already offering, if any? And, and more specifically, uh, dive in here and you know, find out what would they do if one of their key employees uh, were to leave or to die? You know, how would they replace uh, what that individual provides to the business? And, and really, what are they doing, if anything, um, to retain that individual uh, from actually leaving the company and going elsewhere? And then getting a little bit, uh, a, a little bit broader in the discussion and, and finding out, uh, we said earlier that majority of businesses don't already have a, a continuation plan in place. You know, they might say, well, hey, my, my kids are going to take it. Maybe the kids don't want it. You know, what would happen if uh, partner A of two partners dies? Uh, you know, do you want partner A's spouse to be your new partner? Because if you don't have something set up, that's how it's going to happen. And if they do have a continuation plan in place, how is it actually uh, funded? You know, what, what are they doing to, to set up payments for that kind of a plan? Is it being properly funded? Um, and again, what, uh, what are their financial goals? Ultimately, you know, what are they actually trying to do um, for their key employees or just for the partners within the business? You know, is their plan to have some kind of a uh, not only death benefit protection in the short term as partners, but maybe um, cash value uh, accumulation or deferred comp down the road? And once we've actually gathered some of that information, now we have a ten now we have the opportunity to really identify uh, the need from these fact finders. Um, from a business planning uh, standpoint, you know the life policy may be a valuable way, or may be, may play a valuable role in hedging, uh, you know, some of that risk for the business, uh, helping the client or the, the small business owner to reward and retain some of their key employees, um, reduce or delay their tax liabilities, uh, and really protect uh, the future of their business. And from an accumulation standpoint, as I said, now we have an opportunity to provide not just death benefit but also cash value that can be accessed, accessed for a, a number of reasons, either by the business or by the, um, the executive uh, themselves. And then supplemental income. This is really a, a big part of, of what we do and where our product fits well uh, with these concepts is building that cash value that can be accessed tax-free via policy loans down the road in retirement. And depending upon, again, which, which kind of business entity we're working with, uh, what, their, what the business's goals are in terms of you know, providing death benefit for uh, X amount of partners or for the key employee, uh, we're looking to look at executive bonus plans, you know, which is by far our most popular concept that we utilize here at Allianz. Um, this is a plan where you're setting up a business providing a, a bonus to a key employee, benefit to the businesses, they get to write off that bonus. As, as ordinary uh, payroll. Benefit to the employee is that they get to own their own policy and be the insured, name their own beneficiary, and at some point down the road, access the cash value in that policy tax-free uh, via policy loans. So as I said, by far our most popular um, uh, plan that, that we run here at Allianz, very simple to implement. Uh, you know, working with that business's attorney, it's very easy to drop a, a plan on those and setting up uh, plans, uh, as I mentioned before, golden handcuffs, putting in some restrictions uh, for that employee to help retain uh, that top talent. Uh, Non-qualified deferred comp, we, I've mentioned that. You know, setting up plans now where the business uh, is going to own the policy um, and set up some structured benefit payout to the employee at retirement uh, or, or death benefit proceeds to the employee's family uh, as well. Key person life, uh, this has been you know, also very basic and, and been a uh, more common option out there, especially when it came to just providing low-cost coverage for a key employee, typically using term. We're also able to do that now with the cash value life insurance, um, providing not only the death benefit protection for the business, but giving the business as owner cash value access as well. And then buy-sell agreements whether that's a cross-purchase with a small group of partners or, or an entity purchase where the business is owning it on several partners, uh, another very popular option um, that, that we've used here at Allianz. And we also have a, a survivor product with a first-to-die rider uh, that works very well uh, with that type of an arrangement because now we have 
two insureds on one policy. We have a first to die rider to protect the event of the first death from the business standpoint. So the surviving partner receives proceeds. Benefit to the surviving partners, they also have their own permanent second to die death benefit in force um, after the first uh, partner dies and they have cash value access. So also a very uh, common uh, illustration that we'll work it with here in our products. And I want to take a look here at some of the specific tools. Uh, I've touched on them a little bit here, but you'll see how they can, uh, how they can actually be used uh, in the field. What you'll have on the tools for you as the agent, uh, a prospecting guide. So it goes into much more detail about you know, where are you going to come across these clients and who are the right clients. Who should you be calling and, and, and what do you say? Uh, maybe you're very uh, good at that already. Maybe this is something where you have uh, a person in your office who sets your appointments. They can use some of the uh, phone scripts we've already put together for you to call out and set the appointments, uh, as, as well as setting those, uh, those pre-written uh, letters. Uh, go hand in hand. Our business life insurance overview. Uh, one of my favorite pieces from the kit, uh, really what this does is breaks down uh, all the different types of plans executive bonus, restricted executive bonus or REBA, non-qualified deferred comp, key man, buy sell. It goes through all those different plans on a grid and highlights what it, what's the purpose of each plan. Who's the appropriate business entity? Um, who would be the employer, the owner or employer in that situation? Um, what are the benefits for each? Uh, what are the tax considerations, uh, both income and estate? So it gives you a great uh, guide in terms of uh, what plan to use and in what situations, a great reference tool. And there's also a QR code in there that you can scan with your, uh, with your smartphone and pull up all these pieces individually as PDFs uh, for, for your access and reference on the spot, including those of you who maybe use iPads uh, for presentations. You can get that client presentation uh, right from that QR code in the kit. And what pieces do we have out there for, uh, for the consumer themselves? Uh, there's a consumer brochure, uh, and that's really going to get into not so much product, but more concepts. So talking about, you know, what are the, asking the question that we already talked about. So what are you doing uh, to protect your business, and what are you doing to retain top talent, and how can the, the FIUL product be a good fit for both? Um, some great consumer flyers in there. Uh, also some of our most popular pieces. You can see the highlight there, the executive bonus plan. Front and back sheet on all these concepts that really take you through what are the, the highlights, what are the benefits to you as the business owner, what are the benefits to your employee you're setting it up for, and also provides a, an easy to follow flow chart on the back. So I mentioned earlier this is really a way to get a, a somewhat complex concept across in a very easy manner. Uh, business entity reference guide. So again, just talks about the, the different S Corp, C Corp, LLC. Uh, how do how would each function in some of these different situations? Uh, our fact finders are also in there. So uh, if you're not sure what questions to ask or what information to gather, uh, this is an easy way to do that as well. And we also have some uh, always popular real life stories or in case studies. So a way for you to to put something very real in front of your clients and talk about here's a, an instance where uh, a business continuation plan did not go right, uh, a business plan that was not funded properly or, or ever set up, and here's how, we, how it went really wrong, and how do we want to avoid that. And one piece I'd like to jump over, uh, jump onto here before I, I move on to the next part is actually a, a sales concept software that we uh, developed uh, along with this kit. What this concept software allows you to do is tag on a very specific executive bonus presentation to your typical FIUL illustration. Now what you're able to do is, uh, with the fact, a very specific fact finder that goes with it, you're able to plug in some information relative to the executive bonus that will allow you to present uh, more of a solution uh, to your small business owner as opposed to just pushing product. So now you've, you've done the due diligence of getting all that uh, information. Uh, you've evaluated, you've uh, been able to come up with a concept that's going to work, executive bonus in this case, and now you're able to uh, really present that in a comprehensive manner along with your typical illustration. So I'm going to pull that up here and hopefully this uh, uh, will be easy to follow. Again, it's on the software. You do have access to it. If you have any questions, you can always call um, our case design team or our insurance network to take you through it. But as I said, what you're able to do is go through this illustration 
specifying a, a single or a double bonus plan. What's that bonus amount going to be? Maybe in this case it's 10000 a year for 20 years on a 45-year-old individual in the company. You can add a restrictive endorsement if you want. You're able to specify the employee's tax bracket, the employee's salary information, as well as the employer's tax bracket. Point of all this is that uh, when you get into the, the illustration here and you design the whole case, now you can see from our quick view screen, in one moment while that pulls up, we're able to show a $10,000 premium going in every single year. We're able to show what the actual bonus from the company is. In this case, it's 13889 The reason for that, it's a double bonus, which means the employer is essentially covering the income tax portion for the employee because the employee is receiving that bonus as ordinary income. They would normally have to pay taxes. Well, in this case, that amount would be 3889 So it's showing here the employer paying that amount for them, so our net premium for the employee is $10,000 a year. And when you actually create the report on this, what you'll see is, is a, a lead-in to the actual Life Pro Plus illustration is something that looks like this. Executive Bonus Plans, a program for attracting key employees. And what I love about it is it really breaks down the concept for the small business owner. So now you can see what's the bonus paid, what's the income tax portion, What's the, what's the actual premium going into the life policy? And what's the death benefit that's going to be provided? And it lays all that out in a very easy to follow flow chart uh, for your consumers who aren't as uh, savvy when it comes to uh, life insurance products and how they work. So again, uh, just another way for you to differentiate yourself uh, out in the, in the industry and, and put something together uh, that really fits uh, the need you've discovered within this business. So what I'd like, to get, I'd like you to do now is go ahead and uh, give Insurance Network a call, 800-456-7999, uh, and request a small business life kit. Uh, they have these available. Uh, if you call in and request one, you'll be able to get all these pieces that we've talked about today. Uh, and as I said, if you want to get them in PDF format or view them right away, they are available on the AllianceLife.com website. So when you go to AllianceLife.com and log in, uh, if you're an appointed agent with us already, you'll be able to access all these different PDF pieces uh, today. Uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, Lori, if you're still available here, I'll, I'll turn it back over to you, see if we have any, any questions uh, or if you want to open up the lines. Sure. I, I appreciate that. I would say, first of all, if you have any questions and you'd like to type them in on the left-hand side of your screen, there's a spot you can type them in, so please do, and we'll take questions for just a couple minutes here. If you're not appointed with Allianz yet, don't worry. We can certainly help get you appointed with Allianz. And if you're not now, I strongly suggest that you do it. No obligation to you, but an unbelievable amount of information. You see these sales kits. They spend a tremendous amount of time, money, and resources putting together some of the best in class sales kits. Um, I've looked at the sales kit myself. I was amazed by just everything that's in there to help you answer the questions that your client might have, prospect for new clients, and really walk them through a concept, even if you're not an expert at it, to really give you all the tools that you need to become very, very good at it very quickly. And we had only two questions so far, Nate, and um, one has to do with QR code access and having alternative access, and really that's just a matter of getting that on your, on your smartphone, right? Right. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't have, yeah, if you don't have a smartphone or anything, uh, the QR code is more of a convenience thing. If you do, if you don't, you can always get all these materials, the presentation, everything that was that was talked about there on the Allianz Life uh, website itself. That you have just right here, and so it's just yes, as easy. Exactly. All that little QR code does is get you there faster. Um, mm -hmm. if the other question was whether or not the dollars paid for the employee are taxable to the employee, and I think as you demonstrated, that really depends on the plan. And the illustration Absolutely. software helps walk through that. Yes, correct. It depends on the plan. Uh, the example that I ran through there with the, uh, the executive bonus plan. Uh, in that design, yes, the, the employer um, is essentially just given an end-of-the-year bonus, let's say, to the employee. They would receive that, those funds uh, as ordinary income, pay taxes on that, uh, and then take that remaining amount, the net amount, and use that as their life insurance uh, premium which in, in some cases is why you may set up a, a double bonus where the employer uh, factors that, 
that taxable event in and, and pays more than what the life insurance premium um, that we've established is going to be so that the employee isn't going into their pocket um, for any of the, the premium dollars for the life policy. Right, oftentimes referred to as grossing up the amount to cover yeah. the taxes. Yep, exactly right. right. Well, it looks like right now I only have one question left, and the question is, do I have to be an expert at life insurance to present this comfortably? Uh, you know, uh, I wouldn't say you have to be an expert, um, but I will say, um, obviously, knowing the different types of plans that, that we have uh, would certainly help you in doing so. This would, no doubt, at least get the conversation started, get them aware of the, the problem that they may be facing where they don't have a, con you know, a continuation plan in place or they don't have any kind of uh, way to uh, retain key employees. So it would certainly open them up to the idea. Um, but you know, learning some of our uh, you know our products or the uh, products available out there would would certainly help in providing a, an ultimate solution uh, to that problem. And I for those agree. of you who yeah, for those of who of you who aren't as familiar with the the FIUL uh, in this case, uh, we also have a kit on the website uh, called Success with FIUL. Um, all consumer approved pieces in there, but something like that could also help you familiarize yourself with uh, the FIUL product how it works, how does indexing work, how does you know, hedging work, why is it important, um, you know, how the different crediting methods work. So something like that is, is, is also a piece that Insurance Network um, could help uh, provide to you. Yeah, I agree on two counts, Nate. First is that that success with FIUL kit, again, best in class, did a great job on that, and there's some great tools in there. And the other is, remember, that's part of what our function is. Our job at Insurance Network is to teach you, help you, guide you until you do become an expert. So don't be afraid of stepping into new markets. Just make sure you're partnering with the right people to give you the tools that you need because I get that your credibility with your clients is everything and our job is to make sure that you have the tools you need to present yourself properly. So reach out to us, let us be of assistance and um, as Nate said, there's the phone number up there. If you'd like one of those kits, give us a call, and we'll make sure we get it out to you right away. Nate, thank you for all your help today. You're welcome. Thanks, everyone, for logging in.